Many people ask why law of attraction is not working for them. Or sometimes there's certain things that manifest, maybe small goals, but then the big goals always becomes the problem. And what I realized was maybe people are not conscious about what actually makes law of attraction work for you. Where is that magnetic field? And that's why in this video, I wanna share with you probably the greatest hack of all time when it comes to manifesting and getting what you want. And if you follow the exact instructions and practices I'm gonna share in this video, you will see some immediate results. So I'm gonna break it down in this video, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya. This is Sri Akashna here. And in this video, I wanna break down for you probably the greatest law of attraction hack ever. It's pretty much the underlying factor of what makes you magnetic to the thing that you want. So what is this thing? It's all to do with the amplification of emotions. Now, it's not as easy as it seems. It's simple, but it's not easy. And I'll, let me explain why. If you have a notepad, if you have a pen, please start taking notes on this because this could potentially change your life and speed up everything that you want to manifest. So, first of all, we need to understand there's so many different techniques and so many different methods and principles that people share. 555 technique, water technique, prayer technique, meditation technique, affirmation technique, so many different ways to manifest. Some people say scripting, some people say visualize. Now, essentially, it doesn't matter if you are writing it down, it doesn't matter if you're thinking about it, it doesn't matter if you've reprogrammed your sub subconscious mind, it doesn't matter which strategy you use. The underlying factor that cannot be denied, that will always take place, is all to do with your emotions. I'll give you an example. You can say, I wanna manifest a Lamborghini. It's not gonna mean anything until you put meaning to it. When you put meaning to it, universe feels the meaning. Meaning, when you have emotions behind it, universe transcript, translates that as what? Hey, this is emotion, it's energy in motion. It's a vibration. The more the emotion, the bigger the vibration, the faster the attraction. So when it comes to the amplification of emotions, it's not just saying, hey, I'll do it once. It's saying, how can I also maintain the amplification of emotions? That needs to be exactly matched to getting the result of what I'm looking to manifest. Now, if we look at that, what does it mean? It means that it doesn't matter which tool you're using or which strategy you're using, whether that be scripting, whether that be visualization, whether that be water method. Every single method you do, people will always give you that you need to write down your why. Think and feel the emotions, feel the joy, feel the love, feel the excitement, feel as if you have it already because it's all about feeling. Now, so when you understand that, now your question will be, okay, so what do I do from here? Well, you first need to become extremely, extremely aware of what your feelings are when it comes to manifestation. And by the way, this does not mean, and this is a very, very big mistake that people make. People think that, oh, I'm gonna do a law of attraction routine or ritual in the morning. It's not about the mornings because you're manifesting all the time. Yes, you can amplify your emotions connected to the thing that you want in the morning, but hey, actually, it's happening all of the time. So you got to keep your emotions aligned with that frequency all the time. So what is this hack and how do we go about doing it? My recommendation is for you to put reminders that surrounds you all the time. Your phone screen, lock screen, okay? Your wallpaper on your laptop, post-it notes at home, 
your vision board that you wake up to and see every single day. But you need to put those emotional words there that make you feel that gratitude, that make you feel as if you've had, you have it already. And even when you do affirmations, you got to feel like you already own it. I am powerful. I am rich. I am wealthy. I attract love my way. Whatever it is you're looking to manifest, you got to speak it into existence. But even more importantly, the hack has to do with you got to feel it into existence. Often people will ask, how long does it take to manifest anything? How long it takes depends on the size of the emotion. If you get so emotional about something, meaning you are like in tears just of so much joy and excitement of owning that thing that you are looking to manifest, your emotions are like this. This is the wave. When it's this big, what happens? It means the bigger the vibration. The bigger vibrations means the faster the attraction. So hopefully you understand it's not really about what you write on the paper. It's not really about what you visualize. It's not even about what you do, but it's when you are doing these actions, what is the emotion? What's the emotional frequency that you are holding? That's number one. Number two, is it big enough? Number three, is it aligned? All aligned to that particular goal. That means you can sabotage your manifestations by having emotional disalignment or misalignment. Meaning that you can think and feel as if you have this dream already, it's so beautiful, you're pouring out with tears, you're so grateful, but at the same time, if you have emotional disalignment, meaning that you sometimes get annoyed with people, angry with people, upset with people, those things you are manifesting too, and they become blockages and confusion. So my biggest recommendation for you is to stay present in every moment, practice gratitude, practicing focusing on your emotions and that alignment and the amplification of it at all times. If you can think about your dreams and cry even better. So hopefully this has cleared some things up for you guys and hopefully you would put this to use and please do save this video as well so you can come back and share your success story. We always like a beautiful success story. So come back here and do share it to be able to help more people embark on their path too. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. And finally, if you're new to this show and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's our bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we are signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.